Today's the day, y'all. We're talking about how to get clients for service-based businesses, coming up. So guys, today is the day we're diving deep into three strategies you can be implementing right now to get clients for your service-based business. And this has been one of the most highly requested videos from you guys, and we're finally doing it. I'm so excited. So let's get into it. Strategy number one is don't be basic. Just don't be basic. Just don't do it. There's so many service providers out there. You need to stand out from the crowd. And the way that you do that is by being freaking generous with your know-how. You stand out by building trust and building relationships and knowing your ish. It's so important to do this. Don't be basic. So instead of just expecting clients to come to you, you need to hustle your buns off and start educating them. Show them instead of telling them that you are the ish. You know exactly how to get them results. You are the authority and you are the expert. So how do you do this? You do this by putting out content consistently and you've heard it a million times, but I can't stress it enough. You can't build a service-based business long-term if you're not willing to show and educate your client on some kind of level, especially on the internet where there's so much competition and so many weirdos that don't know their stuff. So make sure that you are putting out content consistently and that could be through a podcast it could be through a youtube channel it could be through facebook lives it could be through you know a radio show if you want to be hyper local you could do um you know youtube and blogs and you could do um you know long form content on social media but you still even if you do long term long form content on social media you have to be sending people back to your website and that means you need to have a blog i don't care what kind of content you put out you need to have a blog and that doesn't mean that it has to be a long form like written traditional blog it just means that you create a summary of your videos or maybe a summary of your podcast episodes and you put that embedded in a blog you have to send people back to your website because it's a, the easiest way of contacting you it's where transactions happen so don't be basic tip number one now before i move on to tip number two i have something really 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 special for you guys that i've been working on with my team super hard the past couple months and that is our brand new course it's called savvy online selling specifically for service providers. We're actually creating three tiers and it's specifically for service providers. If you've been wanting to start your service-based business, whether that's a social media marketing company or digital services, or maybe you sell local services, whatever it may be, if you're in the service-based industry, I'm sharing my top strategies, my top tools, my top resources to get literally from A to Z and get your first three clients in 30 days. I'm so excited for that. So there is a um, VIP early bird list that you can sign up for. The, you know, the program is not yet available, but once it is, we will be letting you know, and it's going to be introduced as a beta inside the business lounge for a limited time. So highly recommend signing up for that. You're going to get an amazing deal. All of the first kind of look into um, the course as well as special bonuses that no one else is going to get. So if you're interested in that, you guys have been asking for this literally for years. You go into our chat and you every day I get someone in our chat on the website asking, do you have a course for service based businesses? I want to start this service based business, this service based business. And like it breaks my heart that we don't have that available. But as of today, we definitely have um, all of it in the works. I'm actually almost done filming the course and it's gonna be out there and available for you guys really soon. So really excited about that. Link in the description box below. Sign up for Early Bird. You're gonna get an amazing deal and first look at all the amazing goodness that we have specifically for service-based businesses. All right, so let's move to tip number two. And this one is really important, something that you can't overlook. And that is get yourself featured, baby. You got to get out there in the world. You got to show face. I always tell my customers, my clients, my members inside the business lounge, out of sight, out of mind. You got to show face. You got to show up. You got to make sure that people see you and they know that you have something available. You have, you know, a business that you 
actively work on. So it's really easy to just get caught up, kind of just pushing out content only and not giving people opportunities to come to you, right? It's really easy to just kind of hide behind the screen, hide behind the computer, hide behind the laptop, not really share um, what you're doing, share your expertise and expect the clients are gonna come to you. That's not how it works in service-based businesses. It's not how it works in any business. So you gotta leverage eyeballs. Literally, you have to get in front of people. It's called visibility, it's called traffic, right? There's an audience, there's different types of, of ways to talk about the same thing, but at the end of the day, you gotta go to your people, you can't expect them to come to you, especially at the you know very start. When you become an expert and as you grow your brand and expand, people are gonna start finding you, people are gonna come to you, you're gonna get lots of inbound opportunities and that's what I want for you long-term but for right now, you got to do the work and get in front of people. So get featured, you know, make sure that you are pitching yourself or maybe doing an in-person workshop in your local chamber of commerce. If that's something that, you know, might make sense for you and where your people hang out, get featured on podcasts, get featured on YouTube channels, write guest posts on blogs, you know, create a column on your favorite magazine, figure out where your people hang out, where your ideal clients hang out, what blogs they read, what books they read, you know, what podcasts they listen to, what videos they watch, you know, what pages they subscribe to, and then go and give them amazing value, amazing information without having an agenda. And that's the most important piece. You have to be willing to give and give generously knowing that you know it's okay. Some of those people are gonna take that advice and they're gonna implement it themselves, but a lot of those people are gonna want them, are gonna want you to actually do it for them because they don't have the time to do it themselves. So highly, highly recommend getting featured, making sure you're putting the word out there, showcasing your expertise and doing it in a strategic and systematic way. And the final tip, Tip number three is hustle your network. You got to grow your network. You have to meet people who might become potential referral partners. So I did this early on in my service-based business, um, the second one. Um, the first one I launched with my husband. It was a very big success. It was a service-based business in a very small, tiny little town, local business, blue collar industry, moving service. We grew that to multiple seven figures in 32 months. So highly recommend building your network. That's what we did with the first business. We built our network. We started you know, building relationships with apartment communities. We built relationships with real estate um, agents. We built relationships with interior designers. We built relationships with uh, the university because we were catering a lot to college students. So that's what you want to do. Look for partners that can you can align with. Later on when I launched my own solo business um, as a social media strategist, I started building relationships with marketing agencies who could refer you know, their clients to my service. So I built partnerships that really evolved into beautiful relationships um, that really helped me get a lot of clients and clients that were high quality and there were consistent clients. So I helped the agency by providing a service that they didn't offer and and that allowed them to leverage right other services into a full package, a full array, a full serviced um, agency. And it helped me because it allowed me to have consistent clients. It also built my authority, it built my expertise, and it showed that I was legit and I was serious about what I was building. So for you, make a list of potential partners. Like let's say that you're a fitness trainer, right? I would go in and I would find any nutritionist and dietitian that I can build a relationship with because I know that that's going to be an awesome relationship that we can have. They can send clients to me, I can send clients to them, and so on and so forth. So I would build relationships with gyms, I would build relationships with nutritionists and dietitians, I would build relationships with fashion coaches. There's a lot of um, you know women out there who are creating like these personalized services to help you know women dress themselves beautifully and feel super confident. So I would build relationships with those types of service providers as well. Let's see who else. I might even, I might even build relationships with doctors, you know, in my area. If, you know, let's say that that's a niche that you want to focus on. Maybe you want to help people who are kind of like middle age and might have different health issues and, you know, getting fit is really important. So maybe they're having, you know, issues with their heart or maybe they're having blood pressure issues. You can totally partner with doctors who are willing to refer you. Of course, you have to be legit. Make sure you have your certifications and all of that, but tons of ideas 
You can partner with people who can refer you, build your referral network, offer them something of value, build trust, show them instead of telling them that you can help and you're the real deal. So I hope that those three tips helped you. If they did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your service-based business, you know? free for all, give yourself a shout out. I'd love to hear a little bit more about what you do and see how many people in our community are service-based businesses because I know there's a lot of you out there because we get requests for this type of video constantly. So let me know below, a little bit of shameless promo. Don't add your link because YouTube is going to automatically kind of mark you in the spam section, but do tell me in words, what is it that you do? Who do you serve? What kind of business do you run um, in the service-based niche? I would love, love, love to hear from you. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share it with a friend, you know, this you might know a service-based business, you know, that's just getting started and these tips might be really useful. Tag them in the comments, share it below. I would love to find and introduce, um, you know, kind of our brand to new people. And of course, make sure to sign up for the early bird list for savvy online selling programs, specifically for service-based businesses. I know you're gonna love it. We loved creating it. It was so much fun um, and I can't wait to kind of launch that into the world. Um, but of course, you'll get early access much sooner than anyone else. Love you, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And yeah, I think that's, that's it. We're gonna wrap up the video. <laughs> Bye for now.